So I can tell you in the 31 years that I've been doing this job, I've never seen anything like this ever. It is, it is a strange, you know, it's one of those once in a lifetime things. Personnel on scene were directed to an area of the property in the attached garage of the home where 2,246 medically preserved fetal remains were located. Over 70 cardboard boxes of various sizes contain these remains. The remains discovered were inside a small sealed plastic bags which contained formalin, a chemical used to preserve biological material. The boxes that contained the fetal remains were mixed among other boxes containing personal property of Dr. Klopfer. The containers of fetal remains are dated from 2000 to 2002, which coincides with the period of time he maintained the clinics in Indiana. Just imagine your garage and you walk in and you're, you're storing whatever, car parts, bottles of motor oil, whatever you can possibly, that's what the garage looked like, basically. Sealing the to floor, almost. The uh, fetal remains that we have, the dates coincide with when he was operating his three clinics in Indiana. He was not operating any clinics in Will County or in Illinois that we're aware of. We found no evidence on the property that any of the abortions were performed there. You know, he had mentioned during one of his testimonies that he had done an abortion on a 10-year-old girl, and this is public information, uh, in Illinois. And the uncle had raped the child, and they did the abortion, and the parents took her home, and no one reported it. Now, we have no further information about that other than that. When she first discovered them, she first of all didn't know they were there, but didn't know how many they were. And when she found out how many they were, she was totally in shock. When he passed away, she got some dumpsters and she thought she would ask her sister and her nephew to come up and help her remove them. And they started cleaning out the garage and they were taking stuff and throwing it out and they'd find some boxes, they'd open it up, see what it was and throw it out. And then they got to these boxes and they opened a couple up and they saw the fetal remains and they freaked. They didn't know what to do. I know the police would like to ask them. I know more than anything she would like to ask them. Why did you not dispose of them? And why did you bring them into our home? It should be stressed that she had nothing to do with it. She's in shock and she feels absolutely terrible about this. Terrible that he did this and terrible that these people who had these abortions <clears throat> have to think of this and relive this uh, and wonder if one of these remains is that of their child.